G'day, it's me. I'm back again. I've got a follow-up video, of course, on this drone situation at Gatwick, and we have to manage this very carefully. As a community of drone flyers, model aircraft flyers, we have to manage this whole situation because at the moment it's out of our hands, it's out of our control, and it could be devastating to the hobby and the community that enjoys flying these craft. Now, I've just been watching on Google News, there are now hundreds, hundreds of stories on this situation all over the world. Newspapers and, and news websites are churning out new updates to the story every hour or, or more often. Some sites have now got like 20 versions of the story running on them because it's making them money. Everyone wants to know what's going on. And remember, the news industry is no longer about reporting the facts, about giving people information. It's about getting eyeballs on web pages or eyeballs on, on TV screens. And it's money, it's money. It's all the advertising revenue. So while this story is hot, they are going to thrash the hell out of it. They're going to make up any piece of new information that they can come up with. So we are going to be the guys on the on the back foot here. We are the drone community. Already, if you if you walked through Gatwick Airport with a drone in your hand, you would be bludgeoned to death by the disgruntled passengers who are now sitting there waiting, twiddling their thumbs, losing money, missing connecting flights, um, you know, utterly tired and, and disheveled. These people hate us. They hate us. It doesn't matter that we're not the people flying the drones at Gatwick. We're drone flyers and they hate drones and they hate us. So we have to turn this around. We have to turn it around or we, it's gonna reach the point with this, the way the media has been vilifying the drone hobby through this incident. It's gonna reach the point where even if it remains legal to fly a drone in public, anyone who steps out of their car or out of their door with a drone in their hand will be bludgeoned to a pulpy mess by the public. There's one of those evil drone flyers, let's get him. That's what's gonna happen. We are so evil in the eyes of the public because of what the media is saying about us. And it's totally unfair, of course, we know that. So, but we can turn this around. We, as a community, we can turn this around and we must turn it around to our advantage. How are we going to do that? Well, it's time for us, as a community, to put our underpants on the outside of our trousers. We need to become heroes. We need to become the good guys, not the bad guys, the good guys. How are we going to do that? Well, I'm going to call on BMFA, the AMA, the MAAA, the New Zealand Model Flying New Zealand, all the hobby representative groups to turn themselves or create what I would call aerial SWAT teams from within their membership. Okay, it's not a hard thing to do. Within the memberships of all these national model flying organizations, there are people who fly mini quads, there are people who've got FPV experience, got the skills, got the equipment, got the knowledge to go out there and make themselves available to authorities when necessary. It's not a vigilante group. It is a resource that authorities, such as the police, airport authorities, the civil aviation, the FAA, Transport Canada, any one of these authorities can call on to help them solve a problem like the one at Gatwick. So what do we do? We create a band of individuals who, at the drop of a hat, will go to a problem site like Gatwick, put our gear out there, and then, if, if called on to do so, knock unauthorized drone incursions out of the sky, which is what we should be doing at Gatwick. Now, at Gatwick, they've said there's a whole lot of problems. It's got a big perimeter and the drones are just skirting the perimeter so they can't, by the time they see a drone, you know, they can't respond quickly enough. Well, we can solve that. At Gatwick, if you had 20 people, 20 people from within the ranks of UK model flyers, 20 people equally spaced around the perimeter of Gatwick Airport with phones or radios and mini quads sitting there, within 30 seconds of getting a call saying there is an unauthorized drone flying around the perimeter of the airfield, within 30 seconds they could be in the air and attacking that drone. Because with a mini quad you don't need to wait for a GPS lock, you don't need to fart around calibrating compasses, you plug in the battery, you put your goggles on and you fly. Less than 30 seconds from, from the, getting the message to being in the air and active. So we represent a resource that the, the, the authorities themselves cannot reproduce. They cannot create their own resource like this. We've got it. We're here. We're ready. We're able to help. And if we do this, then, well, the first thing that should happen is the, it should be agreed on by the model flying bodies that this is what we want to do. This is not, no, it's not what we want to do. It's what we need to do to protect the hobby, right? So BMFA, FPV UK, Model Flying New Zealand, all the different groups in every country in the world, because although this is just a Gatwick at the moment, it could be anywhere in the future. So we, all these model flying organizations need to get themselves together and then go to the authorities and say, we are here at your disposal. We are keen, enthusiastic, experienced, knowledgeable, competent hobbyists who are prepared to use our skills and knowledge and equipment to help you defeat these unauthorized drone incursions into 
airport airspace. Um, and at the same time, absolutely essential, and this is where it becomes important, these organisations must issue press releases and do it now before this whole thing dies down. Do it now while the media are in a feeding frenzy on this news. Press releases saying, we have prepared a aerial SWAT team, aerial SWAT team that we're making available to authorities to get rid of the problems at Gatwick and any other airport where this might happen. We are the good guys, we are the superheroes, we have our undies over our trousers because we will be there to do what the police and CIA and the airport authority themselves cannot do without us. That's what we need to do. We can turn this, this really bad situation into a fantastic opportunity to distance ourselves as a community from the bad guys who are causing the problems. We will come out, we are on the side of the passengers at Gatwick that are all sitting around wasting their time at the moment. We are on the side of CAA who are trying to control this problem. We are on the side of the airport authorities who are losing huge amounts of money because aircraft are on the ground. We are on the sides of the, the, uh, the, uh, air, of the airlines as well who are in the same position. We are the guys who are going to solve the problem. Here's our aerial SWAT team. Please use us. Now, we do the press release, the media will run with this. They'll say, hobby comes to the rescue of passengers at Gatwick. And Suddenly, instead of the people in Gatwick wanting to beat you to death with, with a blunt object, they will praise you. You're the guys that are going to get us back in the air. You're the guys going to get us to our Christmas destinations. Yay, good on the drone hobby. Yay. We have to do it. If we don't do it, as I say, then appearing in public with a drone will become a very dangerous thing to do, certainly in the UK and undoubtedly elsewhere in the world. Plus, plus if there's any other groups or organisations thinking of doing what's the, what's being done at Gatwick with drones making a nuisance of themselves, they will soon realise that if they do that, their drones will get knocked out of the sky very quickly by the aerial SWAT teams that the hobby organisations around the world have created specifically to deal with this problem. Now, am I wrong? Is this complete, you know, am I sort of way out on a limb here? Or is this a brilliant idea to put us as heroes in the public spotlight? I think we have to do it. If we don't, we're buggered, we, we're stuffed, because the media will continue vilifying us and the public will then consider us to be evil and awful and our drones to be a menace to public safety. No, 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 got to change that perception now while we can. Leave it for two days, too late. Do it now, today, this minute. So I call on the heads of the AMA, the head of BMFA, the head of FPV UK, the head of the MAAA in Australia and all the equivalent organisations in countries around the world. Get off your bum. Ring around, get a few people, even if you just get one or two, it's a start and you can say we have an aerial SWAT team and it is available to you at a moment's notice. Do it. Do the press releases. Essential. Do the press releases so the media knows. And while they're busy feeding on the story, they'll include that in the next update and the public will see that we are the good guys. And that's what we want, isn't it? There you go. Am I wrong? Am I right? Well, why don't you say so down there? where YouTube's provided a space. And if you like this video, I think it's a good idea, give it a thumbs up and tell other people about it. Link to this video from your social media site so that the whole world can see that we are here ready to provide a service in the name of aviation safety and the convenience of airline passengers around the world and that we're not the bad guys. There you go. It's your challenge for today. Please do it because if we don't act now, it's going to be too late and we will be the bad guys. Just the public will see us just as the same as those guys that are causing the problems. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Thank you to my Patreon supporters who make all this possible. And Merry Christmas. But I'll be back before Christmas. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.